This episode of The Map is brought to you by the STJFL and its major partner, Cripps, the master baker, baking great bread since 1878. Now sit back and relax as we join our host, Andrew Hoppy Hopwood. 22 weeks, three and a half thousand young men and women of southern Tasmania have been slogging it out around the grounds of Hobart and it comes down to this. You can smell it in the air. It's finals footy and we here at the map are going to be here filming every bit of it. Cast your mind around now and sit back and enjoy an exciting finals fever of the STJFL. No doubt about it, you can play during the season, but uh, it certainly lifts an octave when it comes to final footy. Now I'm with the uh, Sandy Bay coach, who like the old veteran me, took a team right from Auskick all the way through, and Guy, you must be very excited for you, not only your very good self, to see these young men, to come to where they are, but to have them uh, be able to run out in the ground and play a bit of finals footy, it's exciting stuff. Well, I think youth football is presented as a great opportunity for them. You know, no doubt, for, you know, at playing the, the the game at this level with full tackling and uh, the larger grounds and the better you know, competition now with teams like Clarence and others, it's uh, it's been terrific for our fellows. And probably, I would say, over the last few years, they've probably dominated the competition a little bit. But I think it's been great. That, you know, they've come back a bit now, and the other teams have improved. And, I think the challenge of youth football in their first year of it yes. has been very good. So, uh, look, uh, I think uh, I think that uh, my fellows are very much looking forward to it, as am I. But look, I just want to see them do as best as they can. And uh, you know, look, you know, win or lose, I think at the end of the day that uh, even though clearly I want to win and they do, uh, you can always take something from it. I'm joined by team manager for Clarence Under 13, Stewie Love. Now, Stewie, it's the first taste of finals footy for the boys. Has there been much sleep over at Ruland this week? Look, they're all a bit pumped up, these boys. They're down in the room at the moment. They've got the music going. They're jumping out of their skin. Uh, they're loving it. They're really loving it. Uh, it must be a great progression to, uh, and I know you're a great football man. You've come through with these lads from Auskick, and they finally get a chance to come and smell the grass as it gets towards September. It must be just a fantastic thing for these young men. Oh, it's good. You see it in their eyes. You, you can see the glint in their eye. They're all keen. They're all doing their match day routine. They're, they're, they're like seniors. They really are. They really are. And uh, I know uh, footy's going to be the winner, but do you think uh, the Roos can get up over the bay? Look, it'll be tough. Um, twice this year we've played them. Twice we've been behind at three-quarter time, and twice we've just got over the line. So you boys are in for a treat today, I reckon. Well, there we go. Sit back, strap yourselves in for what's going to be a ripping match. Okay, so Zach Lewin ready to uh, go along with this one. He's lining up. He's a bit outside his range. The ball dropped very close to goal. Juggling, grab, taken and kicked over the head by Storage. And what a fantastic goal for the Roos. And they put themselves further ahead. Big long kick now. Down the line by Clarence. Wonderful mark taken down there by James Brenner. What a grab. Fantastic. He's lining up now. Trying to go along with it. That's a very long kick. It's gone towards goal. Fantastic shot for the Roos. And they're just rolling at the moment. Coming now, uh, Sandy Bay. Got to get a couple to get themselves back into this long kick down to the forward line. Picked up, nice handball off by uh, Eagles. They go long now, down to Allen. Allen is juggling, he's under pressure. Allen snaps it on the right boot, what a goal! Fantastic work by that young man. And Lockie Allen, the captain, strikes one. Here they go now, up the uh, outside of the ground, trying to collect it here, pushing forward now, uh, Sandy Bay, right foot trickler, going along the line, it's gone through, what a goal by Tom Parsons! Oh, goal of the day. Absolutely, fantastic work, they're back in at the lines. Last quarter action here as the Roos go down the line, big mark taken down there by the big man and Jack Harper. Harper's looking for an option, last quarter, it's almost tied up, goes long, good mark! And the Roos are firing at the moment as the grab is taken down there, lining up for the shot and it's just off line up the boot of Jake Glass, so they've tied it up, Duff. Oh, epic game, fantastic effort by all the boys out here, Happy, I tell you what, this is going to go right down to it mate. 
Here we go now, ball to the middle of the ground, chasing hard up both players. It's going to get collected by Sandy Bay, storming down the line on the left boot. Goes along the line, needs a grab. Allen, the captain, he's been absolutely dominant today. A little bit of Jonathan Brown around him. Right foot kick goes long. What have we got? A 50 metre penalty. He's going to get him shot on goal, Duff. What was that for? Oh, Pappy, what was that for? That's the question. Here they go, oh. so they take the shot. He's always going to kick it. The Lions, and he's pumped up, Alan. And the Lions are back in front, 44 to 38. The parents love it. We love it. What a game of footy. Ball in the middle of the ground. Now there's a centre square infringement here, so it's going to be a free kick to the Roos. And the Sandy Bay player's not too happy about that. Is he going to try and kick it along here? Going on a whistle. Oh, oh goodness no. gracious. It's a 50 metre penalty. I do not know what that's for. So I suppose it's a little bit of karma, I guess, from before for the other 50. So they're going to get the shot here. Vast Storage goes for it now. And he's kicked that absolutely superbly. Strong kick. And they've put themselves back tight now, the Roos. Here they come, the Roos through the mess. 20 seconds to go. And can they get rid of it? Sidestepping there is Field. Field on the right boot goes down toward the line. They need a mark. That's a good one. Off the foot of Jimmy the Butterworth. Going forward. Mark! They've taken it. The siren's about to go. They're going to win the game, the Roos. They've only got a score here. And the mark has been taken by Jacob Probert. And he just needs to go back, kick this as straight as he can to win the final game here. Right foot kick, it's gone through anyway. The Roos win. Six point win to the Roos. Jubilation absolutely shattering for the Lions. But what a famous win for the Clarence Footy Club. Yet again, these two teams have provided an absolute thriller with the Clarence team holding their nerve and a kick after the siren. I just can't wait to see if these two teams play off in the big one. That is something to really savour and look forward to. All right now, let's uh, move on to the under-14 division where we see Clarence take on Glenorchy. So clearing the ball out now, our Clarence, ball goes down, it's kicked it straight to Sinnott though. Sinnott uh, will try and go back here, he'll try and square it up, he's looking for an option, goes along the ground, and uh, they're on here, and a good, ma oh dear, a big clear up there, Adams came across and absolutely cleared out Palmer Hughes, and I don't like this attitude here from Glenorchy, he needs to go back and kick the goal here for the Roos, just to uh, show them that he means business. So Palmer Hughes goes back, looks pretty good. Oh my goodness, that is at the top of the post stuff. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Like an egg in a cup, that is going to land right at the top. Look at this. Bottle. Look at that. Unbelievable what you see in footy. We wanted the footy more, and they got scared. Oh, Do boys. it again. Go, boys! Go, boys! Go! Come on, come on, come on boys! Ball, come on. Tackle, chase, pressure, harass, and dominate the rest <coughs> come of the Come on, boys! just come from the huddle. It's intense because it's finals footy. There is no next week for the loser. Tight, tense, strap yourselves in for the last quarter. The crowd's roaring. They're just splitting apart. Let's go and find out who's going to come up the victor. Alrighty now, so ball on the outside wing. Clarence in control of this one. Goes up wide, slips through the middle. It's come down and dropped through. Got through to Marshall. Marshall goes long and a mark is taken by Cooper Leak on one leg. He's been limping most of the game. They've left him out there because he's an influence player and he's mungled that one. But you've got to give the guy a bit of uh, a bit of a talk up. He's been playing fantastically. Here they go now. Big tackle in the middle of the ground. Absolutely full goes there. Here they go now. Ball comes down. Nice mark taken by Leak. Another good one. And the Glenorchy boys are fired up that he missed that one. I don't like the, uh, well, the attitude's a bit funny with these Glenorchy lads, but Leek has gone back and kicked it. The Roos are playing high pressure footy duff. Well, the Roos are playing the ball, and that's the difference in the two teams at the moment, Pap. Fantastic work. So they try to clear it out now. The uh, Magpies, can they find something to get back into it? Ball comes down. Good mark taken down there by Luke Adams. Adams is off here. He wants something. That, uh, that haircut's a different one. Good tackle! Adams has taken down hard! And a great tackle applied by Holmes Webb. Big long kick by Leo Sayo. We'll call him Nick Foster for now. Drops down. Can they get a grab? Great grab taken down there by Glenorchy through Brody Fuchs. They're away here. Big uh, run off here. Kyle Palmer Hughes goes down the line. Up he goes. Foster takes a good mark. Nick Foster now 
with the hairdo from the 70s. We'll go back to put the ruse even further up. Oh, what a launch that one was, and it's gone through for the goal. And they are absolutely rumbling at the moment, the ruse. Luke Adams now with the ball, trying to get off and he's away here. Will he get tackled again? He's close. He gets brought down again. That's two from Holmes Webb. What a play. That's holding the ball. And they win the Rouge. So that's the end of the game. 46 place, 33. And Clarence are through the preliminaries. Milwaukee, 27. To Clarence, 46. Ball goes up now. This is uh, Kingbra and Sandy Bay under 14's B. Finals time in the STJFL. Broken out and here they go, the Lions. They'll go long off the right boot. Coming down towards the line. No mark taken, drops the ground. That's the Ivan Marich look alike there. Running away with it for Kingbra. Couldn't hold it. Bad little bounce. Scooped up. It's picked up though by uh, White Potty. And I think we'll get a free kick as he was pushed in the back by Brian Bias. And uh, here we go. Well, Ryan Bice will get it back though. He stole it, pickpocketed it. Here they go, the uh, Tigers. Up the line, McPherson chasing hard. He can't get to it. Good hand pass coming, I reckon. Very good work. Picked up by Holiday. Back to McPherson. McPherson runs. He's going to go for it. He's got the look of danger in his eye. Goes for it. Ping pong attack off the old post up. Yeah, unlucky. Like a greyhound. Here they go now, the Lions, probably uh, controlling the game a little bit now, trots down the big Dustin Fletcher lookalike takes the mark there, and I'll get his name in just a moment, here he goes, nice uh, wheel back, good form here, I like that steadiness, what a straight drop punch, you won't see anything as good as that too often folks. Here we go, so ball up right in front of the Sandy Bay goal here, look out for Doug Bignor around these kind of plays, he's uh, good in these situations, I'm speaking of which, here he goes, he's run through five and he's kicked the goal, wow! Pappy, you're a clairvoyant, mate. You called that one five seconds before. Jeez, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mystic man. Ball comes down now, and the uh, ball's uh, running through. Good collect there by uh, Denduang. Denduang runs through. He's under pressure. Good tackle by Jordan Meston Cowan. And that is good footy on both parts. But what a great tackle there. And they love it down at Kingra. And nice wins there by Clarence and Sandy Bay, who fight on to live another day in the finals. OK, while we're up there at Brighton, we caught up with these young men who played in one of the earlier games, the uh, Brighton versus Glenorchy clash. Let's go and have a look at what they had to think about their first experiences of playing finals footy. Have a look at this. You've got the winning smile. This young man, what's your name, son? Kobe. Kobe is the victorious. And how did you go today, old mate? Oh, I played her up, but they should have got the win. Well, they should have got the win, but but you uh, fight to live another day. So what, we go forward into the next week's game. Uh, and who do you play next week? I'm um, not sure. It's out of this game, I'm pretty sure. Well, it's very exciting up here because it's like a carnival atmosphere. And I also have sitting with me here this young man who I believe is the uh, plugger locket of the under-13s. And what's your name, son? Uh, Jared. <laughs> now, Jared, uh, how many goals did you snag today? Uh, just a lazy four. A lazy four. Well, Jared, as I said off camera, I put it to you, son. If you kicked five, your team would have won. So what happened? <laughs> oh, can't. I was passing them off to all the other guys, but they still can't. Oh, I'm just, I'm just there. Well, there it is. He's the man, but he didn't get him up. So you've got to try a bit harder next year. But as you can see, it doesn't matter, win, lose or draw. The boys have had a great time, a great season, courtesy of the SDJFL. I do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to my, my daily, daily bread, Crips Master Life. Be it wife, wholemeal or nine grain, I will enjoy freedom from artificial preservatives in a bread crafted from pure Tasmanian flour. And we love how it tastes. I will rise to the occasion, munching on only the freshest loaves, baked daily at Cripps since 1878. I will proudly fly the Cripps flag in a toast to this great nation, we call Tasmania. Upon this, I swear. Cripps Masterloaf. Tasmanians swear by it. Fellas, everyone, eyes on, eyes on the day. Today is the day, okay? We've trained since November. It's finals, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay? 
I'm not going to say it enough, because we've said everything through the year to get to this stage. Your second position for a, for a reason, boys. Reverse in your Norfolk. Okay, they've been the scrimmage. Okay? We don't want them to beat us, do No, no. Beat us, boys. Okay? It's just the first quarter. That's where it starts. All you got to do is stick to the basics. Play as a team. Be in front. Make things happen, all right? Let's go, boys. Yeah, come on, boys! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this under 15B second semi final North Hobart versus New Norfolk. Here they come now trying to. Oh, what a tackle there! I think that was Hodge. He absolutely cleared out, and the umpires paid advantage. Funny little handball there over the top, trying to collect it, couldn't do so. Was uh, Stewart or Charlie Stewart, but they'll get it back. Hodge, he got the tackle and he got the goal. He came back and he kicked a pearler and he got it. What a kick up! Great player, Hodge, just like his older brother. And I tell you what, they're on the board early here in your North Oak, looking very dangerous. The ball now trying to be cleared out by North Hobart, coming down to the middle of the ground. The contest is on here, trying to get behind that. Couldn't do so. That's Zoe Thurston. She's got the ball now, Thurston. She's doing a good job out there against all these big bodied lads. And uh, she's going to get the ball back. Free kick to Thurston. Surely no uh, extra motive in that one, I reckon. That was just a solid tackle there. She got a little bit high around the head, I reckon. Ball comes down, you can feel the finals fever here as it's tapped out. It's the old juggle play, pressure's on here for North Hobart. Will he get a free kick if he gets tackled incorrectly? Gets one around the legs, high tackle there. Gets brought down, doesn't have it. He'll get a free kick, advantage has to be... Oh, are you kidding me? They've pulled the play back. He was halfway down the other end of the state. And uh, it's not called advantage, I don't understand that. All in now on the outer side wing in the ruck there, trying to get it and tap it down is uh, Zach Lucas and they'll clear it out now. North Hobart go towards the top of the square, there's Thurston. She's running hard, she'll try and collect again. Thurston wheels around, good handball out and here they go. They'll try and weave it through the middle of the Eagles. They go down, couldn't take the mark, trying to pick it up again. Hand pass out of danger, trying to wheel around. But Josh Whitford Marriott's away here and he's trying to grab it. He gets it along the line, he's going down towards Beelman! What a grab the vice captain has taken it almost in the square and they're dominating this first quarter, New Norfolk, as he goes back and kicks it. What a great goal there from Beelman and they're away here, the Eagles. Swell have the ball in their defensive half now, trying to bring this one out, can't do so, going to get tackled, and they do, fantastic tackle by Mitch Palmer for Brighton, and they'll bounce back and they'll kick a goal! Fantastic work, I think that was Jordan Walker, the captain, who took it off the uh, tackle, and good work to start this one off here for Brighton. Here we go now, kicked out, Palmer is coming for this one, he does take it, and he'll come back now, looking for it. Our boys called played on, why is he going to play on? Good tackle, but that shouldn't be play on. Ball comes down now and it's picked up down there by uh, this young man, Sam Hill. Sam Hill's up the right, uh, goes down the middle of the ground. Here come the uh, Brighton D, Robbins now. Robbins going forward, trying to pick this one up. It's gone and dropped in front of Josh Davey. Davey's got to get rid of it. Good tackle down there by, uh, by that young man, Fuller, the captain for Sorrell. They bang it on the boot and underneath it, and a nice grab taken by Jacob Pate. Very good work by him. Big kick now through the middle of the ground. Brighton starting to dominate a little bit. The kick away here, bringing it in, trying to find a mark. Good grab. He'll run away with it. And uh, Davey kicks it. And they're off here, the uh, Roberts. Flashes on here as the ball is in the uh, outside wing here. Hand pass out, trying to collect for Sandy Bay. Dropping it was Johnston, but he'll get it anyway. Taking a bounce. Johnston up the outside wing, long kick goes towards the goal square, can't find it, trickles over the back. It's dangerous now for Sandy Bay, trying to collect here. Good tackle, but trying to collect is Derbyshire. Vice captain clearing it out. Now are the pies, very good contest, couldn't mark it. Was Liam Smith, the captain for Glenorchy, and trying to finish it out. That could have been a throw, it's a handball. Kalimnios, hand passes out, go for the goal. It's long by Bastic, and it's a goal. What a cracker play from Sandy Bay. Oh, they needed that, Pappy. They're really under the pump here. And that's the three-quarter time score there. So now let's go and listen to the uh, Glenorchy huddle. And we need that for another 20. Let's go. Let's go Liam, Mickey Harris, Liam and Langer, really good. But I've got to make sure that you cut straight across the back of Nathan Rowlands. I want you on the defensive side in case there's a hit forward. So I want you both going that way. And if we get our chance this time, make sure we get him on the one out and get it down to him. How about getting the Sharon lace out for two or three to him this quarter? Ball now being cleared out by Sandy Bay, going to the middle of the ground, not a great kick as uh, they take the mark out here, that's Jake Mayles. Jake Mayles goes in, good punch away here, trying to get it now, Mayles tries again, gets Kalimnios high, and there's the captain for Glenorchy, just taking the tackle, good work by Liam Smith. Here they go now, 
Liam Smith trying to go for goal here and he's kicked it beautifully. Glenorch, you're in control here, Duff, they're away. And a good goal there from the Pies. Alrighty, so they're trying to clear this one in now. Sandy Bay, long kick going towards Dermashire. What a good grab. Fantastic by him, the lanky fella. And he's going to go back. They really need this one, Sandy Bay. Good looking set. Looks pretty good off the boot. I think it's just wide. Yep. So, goal by the uh, good point there. But he needed to kick that a bit straighter. Cleared out now by uh, Glenorchy. Good kick in. Uh, Mark taken down there. And they'll try and get rid of it here. It's in the hands of uh, Kelvin Richards. Richards goes up the line. Good mark taken here by Brady Quinn, the vice. He goes down the line. Gets uh, marked by another Pies player. And they'll try and wheel around on the right boot. Good switch. Dropped to ground. Chasing it's Luke Webb. On his heels is uh, Higginbottom. And they're going now. Going along is Webb. Going down the line. Dropping to the back of the pack. Bangs it on the boot. Going for it. Dropping down. It hasn't gone through yet. This is fantastic play by the Pies. And they've kicked it. Fantastic by Hayden Styles for the under-15s here in the finals for the STJFL. Jack Crossan could really put the nail in the coffin now if he kicks this one. Right foot kick, and that is it. Straight through the heart of the Sandy Bay Footy Club for the finals in the under-15s. Under-16s final here. The first quarter action for the STJFL, and here come the uh, Sandy Bay Lions. Left foot kick goes long towards the goal square. It's trickling. Will they get the ball back here? Pushing hard and a good run. Here they come now. William Caden has a bounce. Running away here. Has a second bounce. Who's got to look to give it off and does so. Gets it off to a teammate. He'll get it back. Better Michael Jordan action there around the back. Guys to get it off. And what a run there from Caden. Fantastic work. Clears it 40 metres. Throw in here. A little bit of a dance routine. Throwing this one in is the umpire there. Good work. And uh, drops down, trips over the top, and a mark taken. That's probably not 15 metres, but they've paid it. So free kick here to uh, Sandy Bay. And oh, sorry, Mark, I apologise. And they've got the goal through Sam Young. And uh, it was a fantastic kick from him, so they've earned it. And I think up by Holmes Webb here has picked out a, uh, a 50 metre penalty. Oh, there it is. So he's bringing it forward. And uh, I tell you what, the Glenorchy faithful right now are up in arms, they are furious. Uh, right now, uh, Dylan Williams is not too happy with himself, and they get another one, Sandy Bay. It's two in a row for uh, young Sam Young. Here they go now, Lenorki trying to keep this one long. It's in the hands of a uh, young man there, dropped down. Good grab! Came off the boot of uh, Brody Bruce, and the goal is kicked. It was a mark by Bignall, Jack Bignall, and fantastic by him, so he puts it through. Thank you very much, a goal umpire. Stripped out of there by the Pies. Here they come, under 16 quarter. You can tell this is going to be a good game. It's in the hands of uh, that young man there for the Pies. Clearing it out now. Drops to a contest. It's been turned over. Cleared out now by Sandy Bay through the powers of William. William Campbell, I should say. Ball's dropped down. Hand pass out. Here they go. The hand pass came from uh, Capelli. They've gone long and a goal. Fantastic work from Sandy Bay. And this is going to be... One of the games of the round, I can tell you that much, folks. That was some stirring action from the under-15s and under-16s. And how are your nerves? They must be jingling and jangling and no fingers left, given that double overtime game in the under-16 division with one point the margin. Wow, that all looks good for the grand final. Now let's move on to our umpire of the week, and it is the veteran... Neville Senior. We now cross to see Neville doing some of his finest work as he keeps his eye on that one, signals the point, and have a look at the diligence. He correctly hits the post and waves another minor score. Talk about characters in football. That man, Neville Senior, deserves a medal given the longevity in his umpiring career. He has been in the white coat since the 1970s. Neville, Hats off to you, my boy. And thank you for our great sponsors, Genesis Gym. Well, the finals are upon us. It's pretty exciting. And there's one thing that gets me up and about, and that's the finish to our show, week in, week out, which is seven plays in seven days. Coming now, uh, Sandy Bay, got to get a couple to get themselves back into this long kick down to the forward line. Picked up, nice hand pull off by uh, Eagles. They go long now, down to Allen. Allen is juggling, he's under pressure. Allen snaps it on the right boot, what a goal! Fantastic work by that young man, and Lockie Allen, the captain, strike one. 
the uh, Magpies, can they find something to get back into it? Ball comes down, good mark taken down there by Luke Adams. Adams is off here, he wants something, that uh, that haircut to set everyone. Good tackle! Adams is taken down hard! And a great tackle applied by Holmes Webb. They've only got a score here, and the mark has been taken by Jacob Brobert, and he just needs to go back and kick this as straight as he can to win the final game here. Right foot kick, it's gone through anyway, and the Roos win! Six point win to the Roos! Here they come now, William Caden has a bounce, running away here, has a second bounce, who's got a little bit to give it off and does so. Gets it off to a teammate, he'll get it back better. Michael Jordan action there around the back. Goes to get it off, and what a run there from Caden, fantastic work. Lose it 40 metres. And he's lining up, he's a bit outside his range. The ball dropped very close to goal, juggling, grab, taken and kicked over the head by Storage. Luke Adams now with the ball, trying to get off and he's away here. Will he get tackled again? He's close. He gets brought down again. That's two from Holmes Webb. What a play. That's holding the ball. Here they go now, up the uh, outside of the ground, trying to collect it here, pushing forward now, uh, Sandy Bay, right foot trickler, going along the line, it's gone through, what a goal by Tom Parsons! A goal of the day! Absolutely, fantastic work, they're back in at the Lions! I do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to my, my daily, daily bread, Crips Master Loaf. Be it wife, wholemeal or nine grain, I will enjoy freedom from artificial preservatives in a bread crafted from pure Tasmanian flour. And we love how it tastes. I will rise to the occasion, munching on only the freshest loaves. Baked daily at Cripps since 1878. I will proudly fly the Cripps flag. In a toast to this great nation, we call Tasmania. Upon this, I swear. Cripps Master Loaf. Tasmanians swear by it.